It's a Tuesday morning and it's raining as usual in October here in Oregon, but there's a rainbow over the farm here. So I figured I'd get it on camera. It's the garden below where we just picked some uh, peppers and onions. And we're going to make some pear relish. Spent a few hours yesterday making some pear salsa, which turned out awesome. But there's our little pile of different colored peppers and onions. Mostly here in a rain jacket. What's the dog's name walking away there? Omicron. Omicron or something like that. Haven't discovered the origin of that name yet. This is our home. It's 30 foot RV with our car parked behind it. It's pretty cozy in there, except with all this rain, I think we're getting a little leakage. So we might have to repair that. This is what the barn looks like in the day. It's pretty magnificent. And Scott built this and designed and built this himself. And I'm very impressed with the design. Everything seems to have a well thought out purpose and plan. There's some uh, separate goat areas here where they can put goats that are feeling a little under the weather or just need to be separated for some reason. They have a big feed hopper there. These are some yearling bucks that have to be separated. See this guy? He's got blue eyes. A lot of their goats have blue eyes. Which is kind of neat. And these guys are starting to eat my clothing. And this one is black with blue eyes. It's kind of a cool color combination. And there's Cheddar. He's up to his usual antics. As soon as I let him out this morning, he ran over and started attacking a goat. Uh, this is a large pool, pool construction barn, and they have a, they built a a loft above, and then a uh, another area above that, which uh, some of the woofers were sleeping in. It's kind of a cool place up there. This is where uh, the goats come in and out of the milking room in the morning. So you'll see that a little later. I think in the next video I have us in the morning at 5.30 doing the milking. And other rooms where they cool down the milk and make the cheese. These are some more areas where they separate the kids when they're born and the mothers. Some different creamery rooms. Uh, and there's where we uh, make our food and do some other food preps. There's more orchards to the side. There's another orchard over here. It's the second main orchard and they also keep like the yearling does in here. You can hear them over there. It's a lot of nice apple and Plum and China, or Asian pears in there. But you can hear the yearling goats back there. They really don't like the rain, so probably for the rest of the winter they'll try to stay under the overhangs as much as possible. But here's an apple tree that's loaded with apples. There's Leslie. Carrying some buckets. There goes Shutter. Looks like the sun might be coming out. If that's possible.
and they think I'm going to be feeding them. That's what all the noise is about. Leslie likes to play with these guys. Girls, I mean. There's, there's probably 15 or more here. Never really counted them. But all different colors. They all have different necklace, colored necklaces. I'm sure that's a system to keep track of who's who. They're very curious. There's one with white with blue eyes. And you just hang out here underneath the overhang all day. Unless it stops raining and then they'll go out and nibble on some apples. It's a good life. And then probably next year they'll start their milking career. Yeah, the sun's coming out. And it's a full moon too, so I had some moonlight this morning. This looks like a crab apple. It's one of my favorite trees is right in here. It might have been picked clean. Yeah, this is like a green plum. If you can see that. Right there. Some, some still on the tree. But, yes, definitely we like it here. We, lots of fresh fruit to eat. And uh, it's fun to watch the goats and eat the cheese and the milk. It's delicious. Really beautiful part of Oregon. Lots of wineries.